in my life I have a couple of hard and fast rules. One of them is I absolutely refuse, will never ever get an upright carpet washer. As you can see I've broken my rule, I say broken it, I was offered it by the neighbour. It was her mother's and they use it, they pass it around the family. But it started to leak so her mother brought a new one, fair enough, she can, she can borrow it off her mum and whatnot. And I said, did I want it? Because otherwise they're just going to throw it away. So I said yes and today we're going to see if we can work out what the heck's wrong with this and if it's any good and then go from there really. So let's have a look at a Vax Dual V carpet washer. Oh dear. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? I can feel my stupidity already, because even if you can't get this thing working, I've got to try and get rid of it now. Ugh, I do not like, ow, do not like upright carpet washers. I mean, they work really well when they work, but they just don't last. And I speak from bit of experience, from Abyssal Pro Heat that I had once, from brand new, lasted about three years before the inner bladder tank just went hard and brittle and it started hard blowing the fuse due to some sort of leak. And they all do it. They are just cheap trash, to be honest. We had a Vax one that I picked up from Facebook and amazingly managed to find a motor for it, which is very, very difficult. And it was rubbish. I sold that. And this is probably going to be the same, but it's here now. If I can get it working, it could be quite handy for a spell, but I don't know. It was my, my tolerance of, to care about this is very, very low and we may not do anything with it. So, let's have a look at this and immediately you'll see a big hole, it's, it's missing a tool there. It's also missing what I think is a bracket that sits here, which also would form the lower cord hook because the only thing I can do is sort of put that there and that's that. Look at it. It may not have been taken care of, I suppose. You have to put a lot of maintenance into these. If you use it, you have to then scrub the heck out of it and dry it. Otherwise, they just go disgusting. This is the clean water tank on our Dual V carpet washer with heated cleaning. Got a six year guarantee, but I don't think that's any use to us at all. And by the looks of this, it is an automatic dosing machine. So we have one thing there, where you would probably you probably lose an entire bottle of solution. That would probably cost you fifteen pounds just to fill that up, and then the rest is just water, and it mixes it all together and doses it accordingly. And that sits there, really. I mean, doesn't seem to clip in at all. Oh, it does. Ooh, okay. It, well, it does, but ugh. Okay, it doesn't. Okay, I'll I'll give you that. You didn't fall out there. Let us recline this machine because, as you can probably work out, it splits. So, if you're using it, this bit stays flat on the floor and this bit goes off like that. Coming down the bottom, and I'll take that off because it's probably just going to fall off otherwise, we have the dirty solution tank here, which is pretty filthy in itself. But, unlike a lot of other machines, including my current Vax, spotless go you can take the entire top off and at least well <laughs> get in there and clean it which is obviously something that hasn't happened for some time there's a little float valve in there as well and yeah that's that there and is clipped down by this handle here this would be the motor which is phenomenally Tricky to find the new one off. I think this one does run though, so at least if it's scrap, I can cut the motor out of it and probably make a fair bit of money out of it. Then this bit comes off so you can clean it, although again, you can't actually take it apart. So all the gunk inside is there, and that's the suction nozzle to dry the carpet. These don't dry that well, I'll be honest. And yeah, the whole thing is just 
just rubbish everywhere. Crud, gunk, lime scale. Yeah, you can tell it's been leaking a lot. If we look underneath, this is where it gets very disgusting. It's a lovely dog they've got. They they have it around quite a lot. I mean, the kids play with it out the front. It is a very nice doggo indeed. And they have obviously used this quite a lot. How does this bit come off? Can I take the brushes out? Because the brushes are something else as well. How do you come out? Eh. I mean, they must come out. You must be able to... Ah, who knows? These are the spin scrub brushes, which have obviously spun... You can't even see it. Pay attention, Becco. Which have obviously spun quite a lot, so much that they have bent themselves. And they are very, very soft. And I can't quite imagine that's going to be much use anymore. But, yeah, we, we shall have a look and... Yeah, everything else is just utterly, utterly disgusting indeed. I'm amazed I can't take this apart a bit more. I probably can. I think I'm just missing some sort of key thing for it. Ugh. Don't have any hose, don't have any tools. Literally, this is all I have for this. So, apparently, it, it, it works okay. It just leaks. And immediately, under here is quite wet. So I'm fairly sure that something is wrong with this. But we're going to put it back together. And I'm going to fill this up just with some water for now. Because obviously I don't want to waste a load of cleaning solution. And we'll see how bad it rains. And we haven't got very far, really. Apologies for the mess in my kitchen. Obviously wasn't planning to have it on camera today. But I have just filled this up. Let's fill it up some more. And watch as all the water just runs straight out of the valve. I think we may have a fairly simple fix on our hands because I can't carry that into the front room. So I'm going to drain this off and we'll go back in. And well, I guess can you got to see if we can take this thing out and hope it's a simple fix. Oh, that didn't take long, did it? Um, right, I don't know how or if this comes apart we can there's a rubber boot here but it all seems quite fused in oh hang on this looks like it's moving yes hopefully the valve's just you know stuck open with lime scale maybe and we can get it moving and work out our problem come on oh do we have to inch you out ah there we go Okay, so here is ooh, our valve, and ah, there you go, look, we just made it move. I think this is just clagged up with rubbish. If we take off this rubber o ring, and I've got to not lose any of this because, again, finding parts is going to be pretty much impossible. Vax themselves would just write this off and send you a new one for even the smallest little transgression because they decide to not keep spare parts and ah there we go look we can at least split our valve up and maybe if i give that a bit of a clean up and a dry out and put it back in do you come out now that you haven't got yes you do okay fair enough that's that's not too bad so we can give all this a clean and hopefully reassemble it and see if it decides it wants to not empty itself before I could even get it out of the kitchen. A little bit of a clean later and I'm going to show you these close up because I'm going to get a lot of comments on this video about this and because there probably isn't that much information about it. I don't know anything about it either by what we've seen here. So these, in case you're missing one, are what... Put some light on the situation. Are what these look like so you can perhaps source one, you know, look on eBay to find some pictures and hopefully you'll get on all right. I'm going to put this back together, fill it up with water and we shall carry on. It's actually warped. <laughs> Trying to figure out why it kept sticking. It is bent, so I have got a little bit of, actually look, it's P180 wet and dry, but whatever, you know, something abrasive. We could use a brick if you really wanted to. It seems to be a bit more happy to move in and out, so I'm hoping that this just pushes back into here. 
like so and yeah it does keep moving this one's equally grimy but it moves as well so maybe it'll be watertight now it still wasn't terribly happy so what i actually have just done off camera is just swap the valves around the valve from the solution tank was fine presumably because it didn't get used i think it's just when they filled it with really hot water and it's warped it got to be careful with that with these cheap things so in theory an easy fix because i don't mind just dosing up the clean water tank and using that for the little bit of use i'm going to give it and it doesn't seem it's probably why also because it was all wet under under the solution tank under there and that's probably a red herring it's probably just where it's been leaking through it for so long i then came along and went nah it's under there and it, oh no look at this drippy drip 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 oh blimey it's, it stopped no, it is yeah still not terribly happy we'll put that on and then we'll plug it in and we'll turn it on and we'll see what the heck it's going to do it should work it's just gonna <laughs> the motor works fine let's see if the rest of it does deny that it, it does work quite well actually the floor isn't too wet I'm going to take this out before it carries on leaking everywhere you see this is bit now this bit's holding all the water where it pushes up the valve it's not sealing itself either oh my goodness and then again there is another blacky bit on I oh know this is this, this is on the other side this is on the solution tank side but it's completely different it's not the same part at all so there's probably still something going on but the valve is now only leaking from here when i tell it to which is nice so we may have another problem elsewhere but ah yeah there we go Look. water just runs out of there completely and utterly no falls down but my view i don't know how much of that was in it already probably quite a lot then again my work mat is utterly utterly filthy so it probably is a bit of both. It does seem to, you know, work in as much as it's ever going to. So, yeah, not quite sure why. I think it's going to need a full reverb just because it is absolutely disgusting. And I may, you know, find a way to seal this up. Ah, no, don't tip you over. Eh. Seal this up a little bit better. The spin scrub brushes do still do their thing, so... That might be you know, okay if I can put those in boiling water. It might straighten them out again. I don't know. But it'd be handy to have around, even if it just lasts for a while. Because I know my, my mother was asking if I had some sort of carpet washer. And sure, her lending out of Axe 121, which would be hilarious. I don't. So if we can get this working a bit, it'd be handy to have. Although it won't be a long term thing. So. Stay tuned. I, I don't know how much help this video would be if you come here, you know, because you have one of these that's broken. But if it is belching water everywhere, do check your valves because, yeah, we have 
fixed it as long as we don't use that part for now but yeah the whole thing is quite warped and it's now moved itself down to a problem around here i don't know maybe we should let's we'll screw the driver out let's put this over here so at least if it leaks it leaks onto the rubber backed mat and not all over my other rug and there's some screws back here it might take it off let's see i've unplugged it there is a crosshead screw here and here and another one up here at least it's easy to come apart facts usually are ah, hello. you're not coming out why are you not coming out there's no screws in you oh i think there's pipes and oh my goodness there's, there's pipes everywhere let me get this apart and we'll have a better look well, things have escalated somewhat oh to take this bit off you have to undo a lot of screws take off these hinges either side and we can see the back of the pipes now i'm hoping that these just come off they're probably going to shoot water absolutely everywhere but there's not a great deal i can do about that there's one we can only actually undo two of these anyway the third has got to hopefully have enough slack Ah, ah, I just got that in my eye. Ow! Do not like carpet wash. Then it still that third flipping pipe. Okay, let's. Oh, well, it's leaking water everywhere. You have to come down here and try and unclip it from inside. So there's two clips holding the back on. Ah, here we go. I'm going to do this first. Silly us. Right. Put a bit of tension on this. And there is this part. That does look pretty, pretty grinding. It also looks like it's glued on completely. So I don't quite know how much we're going to be able to do. But yeah, the water is certainly... I mean, it, it, flows through here all of this is going to be open and it will flow through there so i can't take it off but i suppose what we can do is give it a good scrub maybe hot glue or drip some q bond in there to see if you know it will just fill itself up with water and then stay there because i suppose that's how it's supposed to work oh blimey let's let's give that a go and then it's probably going to be a little while later i'm going to have to come back the most is very warm already is it even worth it? Of course it is. Let's come back when I've had an attempt at sealing this and we'll go from there. Been a few seconds for you, but it's been a few hours for me. I've had some lunch, done some editing and washed and dried all of this, put it back together and also, take this off, run some Q-Bond around the entire seal in the vain hope that if there was a break in it somewhere, it'll stop it from falling out. So here is the tank and this should be fairly quick. Oh, that's leaking from the side where I put the dodgy seal. That's fine. <laughs> Paranoid about drips now. That's in and that'll be pushing down on the valve, filling up this bit with water. You can see the air bubbles look as it fills up everything down below and so far it's still leaking oh my goodness where are you leaking from it's leaking from the back oh blimey well, i think we're gonna need some more sealant perhaps but it's it's better than it was not gonna lie it's not you know billowing out as much as it was but yeah, it's certainly not fantastic. It could also just be where I'm taking it on and off. So we'll, we'll put it back on. Ugh. I don't like these. It's never going to be perfect. Put that back on. We'll plug it back in. And in theory, it should still shampoo. Pop you down a bit so that you can see what we're doing.
Oh, dear me. All this effort just for a little tiny drip of water. Yeah, that bit stays full of... So I think it's possibly meant to drip a little bit. I think it's probably just what it does. Because if you look here, look, this bit's still full of water. Obviously sits in there. And I think that's what's leaking out. It all There is a little bit of a gap at the back. I think we've got it as... Good as we're going to, really. I suppose if I used it... Oh, oh, little bits of paper going in there. I suppose if I used it until the water was completely gone from here, it would pump the rest out. I, mean, I suppose if I turn it on again... It does. It does empty itself out. So I think we have a goer. It's certainly not cascading down the back like it once was so an improvement i suppose this bit isn't in there but i'm not going to put it back in yet because now we've got it to this stage i'm actually fairly confident that it is underneath all of the dog and the muck an all right machine and yeah like i say i could do with having it around for a bit i quite like to shampoo this rug obviously this is coming up rather well so i think we'll leave it for now hopefully it's helped you diagnose a catastrophic leak that you may have from one of these and I'm going to refurbish it because it is filthy and disgusting I'll get it cleaned up and then probably do an after video it'll probably be a bit in the future I don't know when I'll get it up I'm certainly not going to prioritize it but I'll get it done get it used and give you an update on how it is because yeah these things they're fragile bless them they don't last but this one is surviving as much as it's trying to kill itself and it'll do it good to be cleaned up i can get rid of all the muck all the crud all the dog from underneath and yeah it should work a fair bit better so thank you very much for watching i'm sorry it's been a bit of a long meandering video but these things are long and meandering it's why i don't take them in as jobs because crikey how would i charge somebody for fixing that yeah i've made it better mate but it still drips 50 quid no, I don't do it. You can't get motors for them. I've tried. I've got a, a Vax Rapid Power. Over there, look, behind the beautiful Hoover Ranger, which is scrap because of the want of a motor. And I have been sort of thinking maybe I could rebuild that with the motor from this. But I don't know what motor's in this yet, and they are different. So scrap that idea for now. Who knows? But for now, this is certainly a viable project, even if it's just so I can have a carpet shampoo to use for a bit before passing it on or breaking it for spares or whatever. So thank you very much for watching. Have, have you had any hilarious carpet washer stories? I presume they all do this eventually. So I'm sure there'll be some many horror stories to come. And I, and probably this, will see you soon. Bye bye.